Neil always a, a tough place to come to, especially after a European game, but the, the team put in a very strong performance this afternoon. Yeah, excellent. I thought we started the game really well, and we could have been one or two up before we actually got the breakthrough. And then we came off it a little bit. You know, I, I don't know if we felt a little bit in cruise control, but um, you know, we, we let County back into the game, and then our response again was was very good. It's a great goal from Ryan, great ball from Chris. You know, and a great finish. So at half time, we just wanted you know get rid of the complacency and um, just turn on the power a little bit more, and we we got all that second half. You know, it was a superb second half performance. Ryan Christie, two goals, that's him to 15 goals already this season. He's just been one of many outstanding players for you. Yeah, he, he's in a great vein of form. Um, he had a little niggle with his knee a few weeks ago, but he's back to fully fitness. And I uh, just am I'm enjoying watching him, enjoying watching, working, him, working with him day by day. He's got great you know, appetite for the game, great enthusiasm. But above all else, he's an outstanding footballer, and we're seeing all that at the minute. I thought Callum McGregor, again, was just... You know, consistency personified. I thought he had a brilliant game, and um, Brownie. So those three really set the template for the result today. And then second half, we looked, we looked a powerful threat. You know, we looked going forward at times we could cut county open at will, and we've hit the woodwork twice. So it could have been a lot more than four. It was great when you're the manager and you bring Mikey Johnson on, and literally the first thing he does is just latch onto that ball and put it in the back of the net. We wanted to get him on earlier, but Tom Tom then went up and he got his goal, which was delighted about. So. We delayed the substitution a little bit longer, um, and then Mikey comes on, and he's in a good place at the minute. You know, we're just again softly, softly with him in terms of getting him on and off the pitch. But that's two subs appearances, and he's come on and made an outstanding contribution. So delighted with him, and the quality of his play is very high at the minute. So that augurs well for this week. A very busy month ahead, the first of nine games, but you must be pleased with it. The, the form that the team are bringing into December. Paul, I'm thrilled. You know, I'm th- I don't know how many wins that is in the row now against all opposition. And we are, you know, in great goal scoring form, and the goals are coming from a variety of positions. Now, I know that's a utopian life, you know, and it doesn't last forever, but um, the way they're playing and they've got the bit between the teeth, you know, we just need to keep sort of giving them a little sort of gentle cajoling along, but they're in a great place. Did you say you're enjoying watching them play and I'm sure all the fans are as well? Well, I've got to pay tribute to the fans. I heard a story this morning that there was a bus from Sonora left at half past four. So I said that to the players before the game. I said, look, you know, these guys travel a long way. You know, it's up to you to entertain them. But they're coming to watch you, you know, because you're creating a lot of good things at the minute and they're enjoying what they're seeing. And hopefully they've gone home happy today. I'm sure they have. Thanks very much. Cheers, Paul. Thanks.